So I actually made a post on my Telegram platform, okay, about 12 rules that you need to be aware of as a trader or as an investor in the crypto space, okay? Uh, being aware of these 12 rules and sticking to it will actually help you become a profitable trader or a profitable investor. Now, what I've done is to actually jot this down on my trading view, as you can see here, these are the 12 rules. All right, that you can actually stick to to make you a profitable trader. And number one here is to have a plan and stick to that plan. Have a plan and stick to the plan. All right. Remember that you must always plan your trade and trade your plan. If you don't do that, okay, you'll just be doing this for fun. And because you are doing it for fun, you are doing it out of carelessness and the rest, you'll continue to lose money in this space. Okay, so you must always have a plan before you enter a trade. You must always have a plan, all right? If you have decided that your trading strategy is about using the RSI, okay? Now, when you use the RSI, what do you want to look at? Are you, are you going to be looking at the overbought level? And even at the overbought level, what number do you want the RSI to get to before you sell? If it is at the oversold level, what number do you want the RSI to get to before you buy? So these are some of the things you need to look at. And that is why you always need to plan your trade and trade your plan. And the second rule here is to set aside funds. All right. Now, when you go into trading or you go into investing in crypto and the rest, you must be ready to set funds aside that you are ready to risk. Okay. Um, money that you can actually afford to lose. All right. Now, what that simply means is that if I'm going to trade in and I have a thousand dollars in my trading capital, when I'm going to trade sport or I'm going to trade fissures, all right i must have it in mind that this market is a fight between the bulls and the bears so for the bulls to win the bears have to be losing and for the bears to win the bulls have to be losing okay but how much you are willing to lose actually makes you a good trader do you understand all right so you must always set aside for if you are going to enter a trade with a thousand dollars um let's say for instance once this trade goes against me by minus fifty dollars, I am done with that trade. I close my trade and wait for another opportunity to take, take to take another trade. Okay, so always use set aside funds that you will gladly lose and it will not, you know, affect your psychology. All right. Then the third rule here is to start small. All right. When I mean start small, please link to join the Telegram group will be in the video description because I explained everything in details there. Okay. When it comes to starting small, what I simply mean there is that you need to stick to a particular pair. All right. You need to stick to a particular crypto or a particular token or a particular coin. You cannot just come into the market today and you start trading random tokens. Even those you understand and those you don't understand, okay? So if you want to trade BTC, stick to BTC. If it is Ethereum, stick to Ethereum. If it is BNB, stick to at least two pairs, okay, that you will understand. And if you trade this market for the next 30, 60 or 90 days, you'll be able to understand how that token works, what influences the movement in the token. And that way, you will understand every bit of the trade of your entries and all of that. So start small by sticking to a particular pair and understand those pair better before you start exploring new tokens in the market. The fourth rule here is that knowledge is power. Some of us are comfortable sticking to signals providers. We don't even want to do our own research. We don't want to understand why pepper token will pump and don't and all of that. All you just want is just to rush into any um, platform, any business that is introduced to you and you invest your money. If you continue to do that, you will continue to lose money. All right. So the fifth rule here is to know when to buy in. All right. Remember what I said earlier to plan your trade and trade your plan. If you don't know when to buy in, you make a lot of mistakes. Okay, so before you go into a trade, you must have your strategy, go through it again. You must have all the conditions that need to be met before you buy. All right, if all of those conditions are met, if you have two, three conditions, all of them must be met before you buy. All right, if one is lacking, make sure you avoid the market that particular period. The market will not run away. There will always be an opportunity to trade. So you must always wait for all of those confirmations before you enter a trade. So know when to buy. That will equally make you a profitable trader. Now, talking about knowing when to buy in, the sixth rule here is to know when to take profit and how to do that. All right. A lot of persons keep um, getting confused about this. You enter a trade and they're saying, how do I know when to take profit? How do I know when to stop the trade and all of that? 
please, there is a tool here called the Normal and Short Position Tool on Trading View. This tool will help you a lot, okay? It calculates the risk reward ratio for you. It calculates everything for you. So if I want to um, risk 1.25% of my account, okay, and then make 7% of that, I'll just go ahead and drag these things, all right? And when you drag it, you come to the price tag here, you see the label here showing you that this is the price where you take your profit and this is the price where you set your stop loss okay so if you know when to buy it you must always know okay which is the sixth rule here know when to take profit and how to do that and the long and short position to on trading view will help you achieve that successfully all right and the seventh rule is to use technology to your advantage all right, I just mentioned Trading View right now. Some of us don't even care to know what Trading View is, how it works, and all of that. Trading View is a chatting platform that you can use to chat any crypto pair. All right, whether you're going to be trading stock, forex, and all of that, you can do all of that on the Trading View. When we talk of technical analysis, everything can be done on Trading View. All the tools they have been provided for you to make use of. All right, and there are other technologies on the internet that you can actually leverage on to make good decisions in this space. Okay, but first start by knowing how to use trading view and that will probably work, help you to gain, all right, uh, more knowledge and know when to buy in, when to take profit, when to set stop loss and all of that. All right, the eighth rule is to avoid formal, okay, here the formal stands for fear of missing out. All right, you see a token that is pumping, all right, because you don't want to miss that the token has already pumped. Maybe it has a resistance. Maybe it is at a very critical level of the Fibonacci retracement tool and all of that. You just jump into it because you don't want to miss that. Okay? Maybe the paper token came out and because you heard that somebody had been able to turn $25 into millions of dollars, you just jump into it without doing your own analysis. Don't go into the market because you don't want to miss that. Alright? Always stick to your rules. Always stick to your strategy. Alright? If the conditions are met, enter. If not, just wait. There will always be a second time, there will be a third time, there will be many times opportunity, okay? There will be many opportunities in the market for you to enter another trade, all right? So always avoid the fear of missing out. The ninth rule here, which is very important, is stop loss is a must. Stop loss is a must. I cannot overemphasize this, all right? I've been a victim of getting liquidated many times. I've been a victim of always blowing up my account many times. So I want you to learn from my own experience. Don't allow yourself to experience getting liquidated the first, the second, the third time until you lose your account before you learn, okay? You must always learn to use stop loss. You must always learn to use stop loss. If you are risking $100 in a trade, how much are you ready to lose out of that, okay? And this boils down to the long and short position to again, okay? So if I go ahead and plot in these two, I want to take profit when this market gets here. I want to lose here, all right? Because you cannot determine the movement of the market. You can only predict, okay? But you can't determine the outcome. So if the market eventually goes against you, don't worry, okay? Um, if you hit your stop loss, don't worry. You always see another opportunity to enter a trade again. So make sure that you always use stop loss whenever you are entering a trade, okay? Number nine is very important. Stop loss is a must, right? The tenth rule here is never revenge a trade, all right? Many of us, most especially with beginners traders, they are fond of this, okay? Let's say you enter a trade somewhere around there, okay? Maybe you enter this trade to go down, and all of a sudden the trade went against you. All right? And because the trade went against you, what happened? You run into the market again because you want to reverse that trade. Okay? And maybe if it goes against you the second time, you want to go again because you want to make back the money you just lose. You cannot do that. All right? Uh, it is said that he who fights and run, okay, live to fight another day. If you continue to, you know, insist that you must make back the money you lost for that day, you will continue to lose. Okay? So when you lose a trade, go chill somewhere, go cool down your head. And wait for another opportunity to enter another trade so don't always reverse a trade and this will make you a good investor or a profitable investor and a profitable trader in this space all right the 11th rule here is to compound your gains okay compound your gains i do this a lot with spot trading all right let's say i've set aside a thousand dollars to trade um, the spot market what happened if i go in with a thousand dollars and i make five percent okay of that I add that 5% to my $1,000, okay, 
going again with all the capital in the next tree. And when you compound this, gradually you'll see that from your $1,000, you can turn that to $10,000. This can happen within a month, within two months or thereabout. From $10,000, you can turn it to more higher capital because the more you keep compounding your gain, okay, the more opportunity it gives you, okay, it increases your buying power, all right? The beauty about compounding is that once you compound the account from $1,000 to $10,000, okay, um, it is very easy to grow with that, all right? So always compound your gains, okay? And then the last but not the least rule here is to always continue learning, always continue learning, okay? The fact that you're a profitable trader today doesn't make you know it all, okay? So always learn, always learn. All right, I learned from even those who are venturing into crypto today. Okay, I learned from experts who have been there for a while. So, learning does stop learning, and that is why I've put together a step by step crypto trading mastery course. Okay, for you to learn, if you want to learn how to use some of the technical analysis on trading view, how to do this analysis yourself and be profitable in the market, go and check out that course. I'll leave the link in the video description, okay? Go and check out that course and make purchase of this course and continue to learn, all right? Whatever avenue, whatever avenue you have to learn something, please don't mess up with it. Always make sure that you learn and that will keep you profitable and a good investor in this space. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, always consider subscribing, okay? And when you subscribe, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel. That is it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.